Donald Trump isn't backing down after comments he made about Muslims were included in a new terror recruiting video. The Somali terrorist group Al Shabaab used a statement made by the Republican presidential candidate calling for a ban on Muslims in the U.S. Trump made the comment following the shootings in San Bernardino. Today on Face the Nation, he spoke with CBS's John Dickerson about the group using his words as a recruitment tool. Does it concern you at all that you're being used in a, essentially a recruitment video by a terrorist they, organization? They use other people too. I mean, what am I going to do? I have to say what I have to say. And you know what I have to say? There's a problem. We have to find out what is the problem and we have to solve that problem. Do you think the problem is a that the West is on a collision course with radical Islam or is this just ISIS is a problem? I mean, is this well, a clash of that, civilization? I think that radical Islam may be on a collision course with uh, us. Um, how can you not at least talk about the problem? And one of the things I've done is I brought the problem out. The world is talking about what I've said, and now big parts of the world are saying Trump is really right, at least identifying what's going on. That 50-minute video also highlights local men nicknamed the Minnesota Martyrs who died while fighting overseas. It also comes it calls for black Americans to join their cause. Here with us now is former CIA officer Jack Rice. Thank you so much for coming in. Great to be here. Obviously with you. a lot of ground to cover, but I want to start with the tone of this video. In the past, we've seen these recruitment videos really glorifying the cause of Al-Shabaab, but there was a different tone here. What takeaway did you have from well, it? I completely agree with you. If we look at what we saw here, this was very specific. Specific. This was very targeted. This was intended to grab a very, very specific audience. And it does it quite accurately. I mean, in the sense of where they're trying to go. And this is much different. What we've always seen in the, in the past is this is for Allah. This is much different. This is about saying, for those of you who feel excluded, disenfranchised, come to us. We understand. Right, and looking at a much larger group, too, in the past, it's been very specific. I know that there's been a lot of recruitment of uh, Somali Americans here in Minnesota, but they're talking about anyone and everyone, essentially. Oh, you're absolutely right. If we look at the past, Al-Shabaab has been successful in recruiting almost two dozen young men, all Somalis. What we're talking about now is not just Somalis or Somali Americans. We're talking about Muslims, and we're talking about the entire African American community for those who feel disenfranchised. This is who they're targeting. It's petrifying if they're successful because of just the vast numbers of people who are out there. Yeah, using issues like Ferguson and um, some other shootings involving police officers. I do want to talk about a good portion of that video that shows this group, the Minnesota Martyrs, men who've come left Minnesota to join their ranks. And what kind of impact does that have seeing these, uh, these men, not only here in Minnesota for their recruitment tool, but nationally? Well, if we think about it two ways, we have to think about the success of Al-Shabaab in terms of finding those young men here, generally first and second generation young men. But then what we do is we dovetail that with what we saw in San Bernardino, where, where ISIS was essentially motivating people to act out. If you dovetail those two together, what you realize is what potentially could happen is you're not just recruiting people to go and fight in the homeland, whether that be Mogadishu or somewhere else or Syria. It's about turning them around and having them fight within the United States. That has always been the fear of the intelligence community, and I think this just ramps it up quite a bit more. Do you feel it's very effective? Oh, I think it has been, because what you do now is you don't have to twist anybody's words. We can look at what Donald Trump has said, but frankly, we can look at what the entire, at least part of what we've seen from some of the GOP, and frankly, from at least a dozen governors across the country who said, I don't want a Syrian in my state. You can use those words and say, see what? What's really going on here is the Americans, they don't just hate Muslims, they hate you. That's what's important. It's resonating with them, but that's my question because uh, what leads me to my next question is, this is part of the daily political landscape. We're hearing these candidates say these things, we're hearing the comments that follow. So how is this not white noise at this point? Why is this, seeing it in a video when they've heard it before, resonating with them? Oh, I think it's a great question. I think the reason is, is this became the national conversation within the United States too. When we see what was said by some people running for office, some people already in office, what happens now is people around the world are picking that up and saying, well, wait a second, what does this mean? If I'm on the outside trying to cleave America apart, what you wanna do is you wanna separate the groups that you can and say, you're not with those guys, you're with us guys? Yeah, essentially, that's the argument. That's what they're trying to do in this entire video. It's about 50 minutes long. It's what they're doing. And frankly, they're doing it quite successfully. Do you think we'll be seeing more of this? Uh, I, I, I wish I could say no, but we have seen 
Al Qaeda did this originally. ISIS has done this shockingly effectively, far more than Al Qaeda ever could. Al Shabaab is simply taking uh, a page from ISIS. They're using it too. Okay, and real quickly, obviously, it's just a video. Is there more that's happening besides just this video to recruit these people? Oh, without question there is. I mean, that's the, the part about this which we've seen from ISIS, is this effectiveness isn't just putting out a video, which is what Al-Qaeda did. What they're doing is they're using social media to reach into the basements of kids across the country saying, do you feel like you're left out? Do you feel like you're being targeted? Do you feel like people are seeing you as less than? We see you as more than. You want to have a conversation? Here, let's move into this particular chat room and we can talk about what that means they're actually doing that okay. and that's been the biggest fear all right so obviously this is something we're going to be talking about for quite some time thank you so much for coming in jack really appreciate it